Easily, the most requested new feature we've received is for multi-resolution within particle works. Well, within version 8, we now have the capability to refine particle sizes in key areas of interest. The way that we do this is we set up our model as normal, ready to run, and then we can add in as many high-resolution regions as we like. The way we do this is we go to the miscellaneous folder, go down to high-resolution region, and add as many regions as we like. We can give it a name, and we have the option of using either a box, which we can drag and resize as we would any other box within particle works, or if you want to use a specific geometry, we can go down to details, select type as file region, and then go pick the file that you want. So in this case, I've created a high resolution region around the gears, and forgive me, because I did the dragging before, this is moved into the wrong place, so I'll just set that back to be around those two gears. We can then add in a second one. I'm just going to duplicate this first one and go and select my second higher resolution region. As this is a very new feature within Particle Works, we don't have any recommendations other than using the default parameters at this current time. However, if you encounter any strange behavior, please contact us and let us know and we can um, update our understanding together. Once we've defined our high resolution regions, we then need to go into our settings to MPS and we can then go down to our multi-resolution and then enable this by setting type to multi-resolution. We then have the option of setting the ratio of particle size and this is how many times smaller the particles will get. So rather than setting a coarse particle size and a fine particle size, we set the coarse particle size as normal here and then we can change how many times smaller it gets by updating the multi-resolution ratio of particle size. So in this case, I'm gonna split it down to four. Again, we don't have any recommendations for any of the settings here other than the default. So go ahead and use those and let us know if you encounter any problems. The one other thing to mention is that if you have auto grid enabled, then it will use the finer particle size for the grid resolution. That might make an incredibly fine distance function, which is to load onto the RAM on your GPU. So you may want to disable this and set a coarser resolution to be, I would say, the particle size, the larger particle size, or potentially even larger if you're still encountering issues. We can then run this as we normally would and go and see the results. Here's one that I prepared earlier. And then what we can see in the results window is we have a regular particle size and a fine particle size. As we play the simulation, we can then see how those particles are evolving over time. And in fact, if we look closely at one of the boundaries, we can see what happens as a particle crosses that boundary. So in this case, I've set a ratio of particle size of four. So as one particle passes through that boundary, it then creates a droplet that is a four by four by four grid. Those particles are then free to interact with other solid bodies and any other features within our particle simulation, breaking up onto those surfaces. And when they move back in the other direction to the coarser side, those 64 particles will then, be, will then turn back into a single larger particle. Now, by using multi-resolution to refine particle size only in key areas of interest, we can massively reduce the overall um, number of particles in the simulation. In this case, we had a coarse particle size of two millimeters and a ratio of, um, of four, meaning that if I was to plot total number of particles in our simulation, we're stabilizing around 3 million particles. However, if we had to do this before we had the capability to refine particle sizes, if we used a single particle size of 0 0.5, this would have resulted in 18, almost 19 million particles, which clearly is going to take significantly longer to run than our 3 million particles we have in the refined case. 